Hey everybody, Anne here, and I'm just using my laptop mic, so it might sound kind of funny, but uh, yeah, a tornado touched down. Where this all started was, well, I was in Springfield at um, a lake, camping out. I had been there since last Wednesday, and on the last night, I kept getting tornado warnings, then um, alerts that there's a tornado in the area. Um, I was in my van. I didn't have anywhere to go. It was late at night. It was dark. Um, I was terrified. So these are just a few clips from that night and from the next morning, which is today, um, if I can get this video done today. So um, yeah, I will try and narrate some of the other stuff too. Alrighty, here we go. Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but this is terrifying. There's been a tornado that's touched down somewhere in the area. I'm at this lake, parked right by the lake. Betty could give two shits less what's going on right now. You know what, I, I, I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know if I should pick up and go. I keep getting these alerts on my phone that there's a tornado in the area. Dear God. I don't know. Something tells me that if it was really, really bad, Betty would be awake, right? Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on some headphones and try and chill. Hopefully this is just a really bad thunderstorm and that there is actually no tornadoes right by me. Okay, this is on the French Village property. I had to, I don't work there, but I had to go in there today to do something. And uh, trees uprooted all over the place. It is just amazing. Okay, this is coming out of Friendship Village on Denlinga Road. You can't get in from the south. You can get in and out from the north. Um, all over the property are these really huge pine trees and they just, it's like, they're just gone. They're dead, uprooted. Man, this is crazy. All right, and this is me just driving around trying to get out of the area and get to where I need to go to do my job. And I just, everything is blocked off. It's just crazy. And keep in mind, this is on the outskirts of where it happened. Um, I don't know where exactly it touched down. I think it's like, um, Needmore and Main Street from what I've heard from different people. Uh, the, the stuff along that route is just gone. It is just a um, like gas station. There's some businesses. Look at that. I mean, and this that I'm driving through is on the outskirts. In 1,000 feet, so turn right onto North Dixie, Dixie Drive. Drive. Everybody's power's out. Their phones are dying. And, whew, crazy. Alright. And here are some some businesses I'm just driving by trying to find a way out. You can see all the power lines down. And this isn't even where the tornado was. Oh my goodness. I apologize for the dirty windshield. My, my dog gets her nose up there and gets it all dirty. So. trying to do my job and I can't get anywhere. I literally cannot get anywhere.
the next right onto Sumter Drive. Glad this one fell this way. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Maple Grove Avenue. All right, and this area right here is not the hardest hit area. I can't even get down. Down in the area that I am, I, I need to go, and you can't get down there. You just can't get down there. People are just standing around. This is, this is nothing compared to what it's gonna look like, I bet, where it actually touched down. This is just off, oh my God. no idea how to get out of here. <gasps> this motel. Oh my God. I have to... In a quarter mile, oh continue gosh. straight. And this isn't even... <gasps> Down pylons. I'm, I'm going to be going over them. All right, all right, all right. Check that out. And this is not even, oh, there was another building there. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Check this out, guys. This is a freaking tragedy. Oh my gosh. This place is tore up. Oh my God. Whoa. Continue straight, then slight left. Look at that. Just look. I don't have any idea where I need to go. All right, I think I'm gonna try and go this way. All right, as I said before, this started last night and I was getting these tornado warning messages um, and I didn't really pay too much attention to them um, until I said a one's been spotted in your area and then the rain and the wind came and I was terrified. But uh, leaving, I left this morning, I actually woke up a little bit late and leaving this morning, I didn't notice any, any damage on my route out of Springfield towards Dayton. Um, so I don't know if there was actually a tornado touchdown in Springfield and maybe they just said a, a one's been spotted near you because Springfield is real close to the area in Dayton that I was going to be working in today. And, um, so yeah, I could not get anywhere. I had to like do big loops to, to even get my job done today. It was, it was awful, but, um, I, I think everybody for the most part is okay. There's a lot of structure damage. I didn't even capture all that I saw. Um, but as I said also, I was just on the outskirts of where the storm passed through. I think it started in Brookfield, passed through Trotwood, Dayton, um, the whole uh, Needmore and Maine area, I guess, is kind of wiped out. Um, I haven't really had time to watch the news, so... Um, yeah, that was my little experience. And the good thing is, is at, well, if this isn't good. It's good for me, not good for everybody else. But um, the power's out everywhere, okay? All along, along that route and some surrounding areas, the electricity is out. But I got my solar and I'm still rocking with, you know, cell phone power and everything. So anyhow, that's, this is it. This is it. This is all I've got for you guys for today. Um, not the greatest video editor ever. Um, I already created it once on my phone in Filmora and I'm going to trash, trash, trash that app because it, um, after I've been working on it for like an hour, 
it said, oh, something happened to your files. They're not there. Start over. And I'm like, ah, no, never again. So this is on my Linux laptop. So hopefully it'll turn out okay. It's been done in haste. And um, anyhow, as I was saying, that's all I got for you. Y'all have a good one.